World of Tanks is a game really about two emotions, love and hate. There are tanks that you love and there are tanks that you hate. And now that I've finished playing the Grant, I realise I need to find a new tank to hate on. And this is it. The French D2. It's a French tier 3 medium, I think, tank. And it has very, very little to recommend it. It looks stupid. It is slow. It's armour... It doesn't have great angling, um, and overall, it doesn't have really very much of anything to recommend itself. Now, I've still got a bit of cold, still got the post convention snuffles, unlike apparently Nashua, who is somehow immune to our, you know, London based illnesses. Lucky him. I was kind of hoping that he would get it and he would take it back to Europe and there would be some kind of massive infection, it would mutate into a zombie-like plague and, and that would be that. That's a bit mean, it's a bit, a bit dark. Anyway, French D2. Now I've actually played quite a few games today and I've tried recording them but because of this convention flu I've been snuffling and coughing and sneezing <coughs> and talking makes it worse, talking kind of loosens everything up and stuff starts coming out and I start losing my voice. So after about probably 10 to a dozen games of being interrupted by coughing and snuffling and sneezing and making really disgusting mucusy noises, I thought I'll play the D2 because it's going to be a short game. It's... I do not predict that I'm going to last longer this tank and that's that's not a problem in a way that's playing that that's mitigating the weakness of my snuffles and trying to make make the most out of it so the d2 I think is one of sort of the one of those tank designs that was outdated and prone to malfunction before it was even before it even really saw any use <coughs> Obviously, sort of French tank design is going to be an interesting um, I was going to say like an interesting field of study because obviously there's a there's a break in it. Whereas you could they look at say like the English or the British sort of tank line, and you can see there's like a general slow kind of development. The French tank line always feels like there's like a point at which it goes from pretty bad to very good. And that kind of roughly corresponds to I was going to say tier sort of 5 and 6 where it starts getting let me please can I get okay, where it starts getting you know good. If not good interesting. I really like or the, the French autoloaders. Critical hit. Enemy armor is damaged. Oh, that LTP is going to get away, and I don't fancy chasing him. But you know what? I'm going to do it anyway. <coughs> Let's go, guys. I was, I was going to lead this charge, but. Apparently, an M2 medium and even a T18 is faster than I am, so Enemy is make hit. that what you will. Now, this is a saying an odd choice by the BT2. The BT2 is a fast ass tank, don't like those. Enemy armor is okay, actually, you know what? This gun is good. Normally, seeing a tank like that. Okay, you know what? In a situation where I could just keep driving forwards, not too bad. My voice is starting to go, oh god, squiddy why? Uh, where? Thank you. I was like, where is everyone else? Why do these things happen to me? Whoa, whoa. 
I come on guys, we can do this. I wanna believe. There's just a cruiser three left. Come on, Viva la France, motherfuckers. Let's do this. Up the hill. That would be a victory in and of itself. Wow. Just wow. Did not see that coming. <laughs>